Hi guys, welcome back to Ricola's Crochet Corner. I am Crystal. I am going to do a quick video to show uh, some stuff. Actually, I can't even show that much. <laughs> From what I, I actually went to the Wool Queen, uh, her shop this weekend for the first time ever. Normally I order stuff and she just brings it to me, but I actually made an effort to come in or to go in, I should say, to her shop so I could check it out. Um, so what I will say is her shop is very, very beautiful. It is full of very gorgeous yarns. Um, there is actually is if you get a chance to go in, you should, because I will say that even though she does have a lot of stuff on her website, it really is something different when you go in and you see the yarns and you could touch the yarns. I just, I went, I love her yarns and I can't show you everything because I did buy some stuff while I was there that was uh, a gift for someone, well, a couple of gifts for <laughs> someone uh, that I'm doing a Christmas swap with. So I can't show you everything, but I will show you a couple of things that I did get. And then I will also um, attach a clip after this of the hats that I made. The reason I really went down there was because I made some hats to donate and I will show you those hats in a clip after I finish telling you what I got at the Wool Queen. So I was looking and I, she has a, a whole bunch of walls of, it's like wall to wall of yarn. But this one caught my attention. See how pretty that is on that Scream Christmas. And it is called, it's Cascade Yarns Anthem uh, Rondo Yarn. I think I'm saying that right. It's so pretty. It is so soft. I already actually, I have, I bought three and I already have one almost completely used in a shawl that I'm making. And I'm not sure who I'm giving it to yet, but I'm making a shawl for someone in Christmas colors. So the specs on this is it's 100% acrylic, 200 grams, 372 yards. Um, <laughs> it's machine wash, trumble dry. So that is fantastic. And the colorway the, just has a color number and it's color number six, but it is Christmassy. It's very beautiful. It's got two different shades of green, two different shades of red and a gray in there. So it's very pretty. So I got three of those guys. And then, like I said, I bought a whole bunch of stuff that I can't show anybody because it is a gift. <laughs> so um, if you guys want to see that, you'll have to wait till Debbie gets her 12 days of Christmas and then you can go over and see what I got. Um, I actually probably should have filmed it and like put it to side as a clip, but I didn't think that far ahead. So another thing I saw, I was looking at one of her walls of beautiful yarn. This is pretty. This is KFI Luxury Collection. And I'm not even going to pretend I can see or read that. So I'm just going to put it right in there. And it is a fingering weight yarn. This is Neo Noir is the colorway. And it is a fine worsted weight, er, a fine fingering weight yarn, sorry. It is 75% merino wash, super wash, wool, and 25 poly made. So it is beautiful. And then I saw that and I also saw this color. And this is the same exact yarn, it's just color magenta. So I thought if I hank these up, I can use this and this together in a shawl or something like that because I think they're beautiful. So I bought those two and they are so beautiful. So I will, um, I don't have anything to show you guys as far as makes go. Well, I do, but I haven't filmed it yet. So I'm going to try to film that shortly. Um, so I will attach a video at to this this clip will have another video on it and it'll show you all the hats that I made to donate to the Wool Queen. So if you haven't checked out the Wool Queen, I will have her link down below, obviously, and you guys can go check her out. Um, she has a lot of gorgeous yarns. One of the yarns I wanted to say, if you type it in, I wonder if it'll come up on her website. I haven't checked it yet, but she has a recycled alpaca yarn and it is pretty colors and it is soft and it is nice and it's only $11. So I was like, oh, I might have to come back in after I get another paycheck and go and 
you know, purchase a bit more stuff. But anyway, so <laughs> go and check her out. I'll leave her link down below. And now I'm going to attach a video of the hats and I will see you guys soon. Have a good day. Hi guys, welcome back to Ricolo's Crochet Corner. I am Crystal. I have not filmed in a long time, so I thought I would come on and show you some of the stuff I've been doing. I have been working, so I haven't been really crocheting as much as I'd like, but uh, a little while ago, the Wool Queen put out a thing on her Facebook page, I think it was. Was it? Well, she might have put it on all her platforms, actually. I think it was her Facebook and Instagram, I saw it. But anyway, um, so if you follow the Wool Queen, you would have probably heard about this. And if you follow Heather from Heather Crochet and Knits, I'll link Heather down below uh, as well as the Wool Queen. I will link her uh, shop link and I will link her Facebook group so you guys can go check her out. Anyway, um, Heather's made a, quite a lot of hats for her as well. It's for donations. So I am uh, going to... Uh, show you the hats that I've made. I have whipped out a few so I can donate them. I'll probably be going to see her on Monday or Tuesday to donate them. So I just did a, a simple beanie. I didn't do anything crazy. I just wanted to whip out a bunch of hats to help. So there's one. Um, this yarn is one I got from Walmart a while back. Uh, two, one, two of Wands, Hue and Me by Lion Brand. And I still have enough that I could do probably another hat. And if not another hat, I could probably mix it with the other ball I have of it and just do like a multicolored hat. Um, it's not bad. I didn't love working with it. It is acrylic and wool, so I don't know. I didn't love working with it. It is, it's a little scratchy, not the most perfect hat, but it, it's soft, but at the same time has that bit of wool scratch. Anyway. That's one of the hats I made. A lot of my hats are made using, what's it called? Uh, it's another Lion Brand. Yes, Lion Brand Woolies, thick and quick. So a lot of my hats are made out of the Woolies because I had a lot of Woolies. So I made this one, it's the gray. It was the solid gray and then I had a little bit, I was short a little so I had to do the sparkle. So I thought that would look okay. And then I did another one out of the solid gray. So that's three. And then this is another one out of that Hue and Me. That's four. Then I did another one out of the Sparkle. It's five. And then I did one out of like a brown kind of taupey color. And Flex, I love Flex in my yarn. So I think that's cool. So that's what, six. And then this one, seven. I love this one. I love the color. And then, so that's eight. And then this one, that's nine. This is Karen Swirl Cakes that were out last year. So that is nine. And I made. 10 and 11 that's three out of the same uh, cake I actually have enough to do probably another one I think and then I made another type of hat that's 12 all right guys I gotta bend down to get them <laughs> that's 12 and then I made 13 14 15 and then one out of orange 16 one out of that 17 and these are my absolute favorite color see the colorway in that isn't that cool it's 18 and 19 i'm one short of 20 so i'm gonna hopefully get one more hat done by the end of the weekend so that i can donate uh, 20 even at least 20 even hats. I was hoping to get more, but I don't think I'm gonna get the time to get it done um, Yeah, so Bye I Totally forgot to mention these were some of the things I got at the wool queen. It is Emigurumi little kits. There's the koala one and Here's 
a kitty one that I got. Isn't that cute? And a, what do you call that? Narwhal. So I wanted to quickly film that just to show you guys some more other things that she has at the Wool Queen. You guys can check that out. Uh, she had other ones too. These are just three out of the ones that she had. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure to include. Take care.